Hi guys, so in this video we're going to go through our five objective tests for greater trochanteric pain syndrome. So we're going to get cracking right now. Okay guys, so our first objective test for greater trochanteric pain syndrome is basically palpation of the trochanteric bursa. So we would have the patient in side lying, knees just up to kind of 90-90 degrees, and then you would just palpate fingertips through the greater trochanter and you're just assessing and asking the patient for pain. And what I would always do is compare this side to the other side so you can see whether, because it can just be tender to basically press around there. So you want to see if it's a marked difference from one side to the other side and that would be a positive test. Second of the five tests we're going to do is a Faber's test, which just stands for flexion, abduction, or external rotation test. So patient in supine lying, you're going to bring the affected leg up into uh, this position so the ankle crosses the knee. You're going to stabilize through the ASIS on the other side and then you're going to push down on the knee on this side and then we're looking for reproduction of the patient's pain in that greater trochanteric region. So it's not just whether it's tight, not just whether it's painful, but you want the reproduction of their familial symptoms. That would be a positive test. Third test we're going to do is a resisted abduction test. So patient in sideline again, affected uh, limb this time upwards. It's just obviously the purposes of the video. Um, and then what you're going to do is bring the patient's limb up to 45 degrees. Ask the patient to stabilize through the ASIS. Ask the patient, can you hold there for me? Okay, hold there. And then you're going to resist downwards. So don't let me move you. Don't let me move you. Don't let me move you. And relax. All the way down, relax. So again, three to five second hold and you're looking for their reproduction of their painful symptoms. Obviously, if it's painful straight away when you're doing that test in that region, then you don't hold the test more than, more than that. You just literally come back to the start position and that would be a positive test. The next test, four out of five, is a resisted external derotation test. So for this one, you're going to bring the patient's affected limb up into 90 degrees um, at the hip. Then you're going to cre create a little bit of external rotation. You're just going to bring the foot slightly across the body. Then I'm going to ask Kate to hold there, don't let me uh, move you. And I'm going to push into internal rotation, which is making Kate do an external rotation force. And relax. So also what you're doing with this is almost uh, creating a little bit of compressive force through the greatest trochanter on um, the side that I'm on. So again, we would be looking for pain in the trochanter of the side that you're testing on. For me, that would be this side. I'm just doing this for the purpose of this video. Okay, so the last test, fifth out of the five tests, is a single leg stance test. So, okay, if you go arms on your hips, just to standardize this, and then if you just lift one leg, so I want you to basically just bend 90 degrees at the knee and just hold that position. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna time 30 seconds. Again, for the purpose of the video, I'm not gonna time a full 30 seconds, but you would time 30 seconds. And what you're looking for is pain on the stance leg. So you would do this where the patient stands on the leg that they are having issues with, and then you're looking for pain emanating around the great trochanter on that stance leg. So there you have it guys, very, very quick, five objective tests that can help you diagnose greater trochanteric pain syndrome. As I said at the start of the video, if you want a full rundown of greater trochanteric pain syndrome for therapists, we've got subjective markers, diagnosing, treating, all the different things that you need uh, in a video that should be linked on this video somewhere. So go across and check that out. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. It massively, massively helps out the channel. Um, and if you subscribe and click the bell icon, then it means that you'll be notified by email of more videos that we have coming out like this. So hopefully you'll get involved in the uh, community. Leave any uh, questions you've got in the comments below and I will see you next time.